You know, we got the backpack. Yep. We I like see. Ash ketchup. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We like to say more like ass ketchup. What's cracking, guys? Oh my Esau up here, back with another video. It's been a while since I posted a workout, and many are wondering, have I let myself go? I've seen the posts, innumerable posts by individuals. It's a month of quarantine, a month of self-isolation. I let myself go, and I've been teasing photos on the Instagram, not really giving any updates. And I'm pleased to say, I'm just getting better. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm actually doing. One month without regular gym access, to get sloppy, what happened? Let me break this down. And once again, we had that fantastic video with Eric Helms going over a home workout, how to set this up, how to program it for yourself. I'm gonna give you guys essentially some cues of what I have to work with and what I'm doing. Keep in mind, I actually do have access to a barbell that I go a couple times a week. You know who you are, I wanna say much respect. <laughs> I mainly train the lower body because I really don't care about hypertrophy. Wouldn't you know it when it comes to those suckers right there. So I'm maintaining a little bit of a squat, a little bit of a deadlift, but I do because I want to compete when everything opens up in strongman. I want to compete in that sport. So I do a little bit of overhead press, but what you're going to see represents over 70%, 70 to 80% of my total upper body volume, just using implements in my house. So let me break this down and I'm going to show you guys because there are some individuals that got the home garage set up. Nah, we're going raw. If I said Eric Helms was getting swollen in the Shire, we're getting prison jacked around here, okay? Jacked in the backyard, volume one. Here's what's going down. Essentially, there's three upper body sessions. We do between 12 to 18 sets in a workout and this depends. There's a variety of factors here and we approach near the end failure. We do that daily undulating periodization. All that means on one day, we'll do higher reps, a second day, medium reps, and on a third day, heavier reps. And then we switch kind of the movement. So for pull-ups, my main back movement, pull-ups, we got Terrence Malick, tree of life in the house. We're doing that. We're doing loaded pull-ups. This session right now is the one where I'm going heavier on pull-ups. So I'll work up to a top set of eight. I do have two kettlebells in my house, but then I use bags of sushi rice. And I also had a ginormous bag that I think was 20 pounds, I could have also put inside the backpack, which would have equaled 65 pounds. So all I'm using is a backpack, strapping that thing up, going on a tree, getting it done, neutral grip, and what you'll notice because the weight is pulling me back a little bit, it actually is targeting the bicep a little bit more because now I'm further away when I begin, and that's good for me because guess what? I was normally just doing a pronated pull-up. So the pull-up is my chosen back movement. I'm also probably going to MacGyver something in order to do inverted rows. I have a few ideas, but this is a bare bone workout. And you're going to see, once again, we'll have the physique update uh, coming up, all those things, that gains are not only being maintained, but I'm confident at the two-month mark, you'll see actually progress. Uh, so the main back movement, like I said, that periodized would be the pull-up. This was a heavier session. So we did eight sets of pull-ups. We did five sets weighted and then three sets of body weight. We kept it at a relatively lower RPE because we do uh, higher repetition days on another day. But you'll see on the pushes, that's where we get some. So first, we're just doing bench dips. We're going higher repetition. We're going between 30 to 35 reps. Try to use that cinder block, but it kind of was awkward. And again, I would say all other things being equal, we're going after that time under tension because we're doing higher repetitions. Really, as you see, flexing those triceps, I think something is happening there. And then here's a nifty little tool uh, that we managed to do. Two cinder blocks, a little stool behind you, get a decline push-up going on with extra range of motion. So now we're really targeting the pecs. We're having an isometric hold at the bottom. I think people really don't think about the different variables we can manipulate here. So there's the eccentric, the lowering, there's the concentric, there's on the way up. And then finally, there's the isometric, so holding something. And so what you'll notice, because we're doing body weight on this day, so for the push movements, we're going higher repetition, more time under tension. I did 10 to 12 reps of about three seconds on the way down, two second pause, keeping tension on the pec, and then exploding, so flexing with the tricep and going back down. Last set, we went right to failure. You'll see my body shaking. <sighs> it was something, it was something. Uh, and then we went to failure on the last set of push-ups. And so in that way, we did about 16 total working sets, 
eight sets of pull, eight sets of push, nice low balance between those, not making a fancy yet with the kettlebells, totally could have done some sort of tricep movement, some bicep, some lateral raises, but these are the basics, the bread and butter. I think it is all about progressive overload, getting better over time and doing harder variations of fundamental movements like the push up. So that's why we do a slow negative isometric hold. And then that's why once again, at the very end, we take that RPE, like I said before in the previous video, all the way up. And in this way, once again, I am very confident this representing the majority, the majority of my upper body volume. And that's all we care about around here, how the upper body looks. You will see that physique update gains are happening. And I could say this for everyone right now where I've noticed a lot of people saying once again, oh man, I'm waking up late. Uh, you know, my schedule is all hectic. Make a schedule for yourself, right? So we have our workouts, myself, my brother, we get it done in the backyard, getting it swole, grunting it up. Everyone else is just being quiet, you know, in our neighborhood. Meanwhile, we're blasting the tunes one rep at a time on that tree, doing push-ups, pushing the pace a little bit. And you can see that from that last set of push-ups where again, you want to bring that intensity, mental intensity to make that progress. But let me know what you guys want to see. I was waiting a little bit, seeing what would happen. Obviously, as I correctly predicted, this is going to go on for a while. I'm going to be posting more workout videos. Let me know what you want to see. I also have that catalog, the back catalog of videos I filmed from before uh, this isolation that I'll be able to post on this channel. We'll be back posting regular content, but let me know if you want to see uh, more content like this, more home workouts jacked in the backyard where again it ain't anything fancy okay and you could tell that just by the backyard itself we got a we got a eight feet by eight feet and we're making it happen here I'm confident if you live in a condo apartment it doesn't really matter right outside of your place you can find implements to get results that's what I want to say anyways I got to get out of here three times per week upper body session 12 to 18 sets so in total we're doing about 45 sets per week upper body gains will be happening if you like this video if you enjoyed it if you thought to yourself huh make sure to like the damn video and lastly what i will say we have that properly programmed uh home workout two home workouts the kaizen home workouts we're keeping the price affordable it's 25 dollars 12 weeks if you want to check that out if not totally cool i understand it is a very well designed program if i uh, toot my own horn link to that is in the description i'll catch all you guys my rascals in that next one peace eat your vegetables eat your vegetables eat your fucking vegetables